episode 25 of March Motivation Madness. Welcome back to the Fit Pro Podcast. I am your host Marvin Fayez, and we are on episode twenty-five of the Fit Pro Podcast March Motivation Madness series. Let me just make sure of that because look, I've been putting out so much content over the last two days that I'm not too sure where I'm, which is, what is up and down. But here we go. Yep, episode twenty-five. Beautiful. So. If you are liking the March Motivation Madness run so far, make sure you give us a big thumbs up on Facebook. And as always, just leave a review on iTunes and subscribe as well so you can continue to get this great content as I've lined up a few guests that are coming uh, on the podcast over the next few weeks. So we'll we'll be bringing back the interviews. Um, I think we were pretty ambitious when we said uh, I'd have time to do the two regular scheduled weekly ones as well. I mean, there's some weeks where I have and there's some weeks where I haven't. But I think all in all, we've just put out so much content this month that it, it sort of cancels itself out in terms of loss of value. So you're getting so much, so much, so much value from these episodes, hopefully. And speaking of value from the episode, let's get into today's, which is episode 25. So... The quote for today is, either you run the day or the day runs you. Jim Rohn. I love Jim Rohn. I've I've always loved Jim Rohn. Uh, I feel like we'd be best friends if he was uh, still alive. But plan your day, set goals, set targets that, that are measurable throughout your day. And that is as simple as it gets for this quote, guys. I feel this is one of the most underrated tools that most people don't use. They look big picture. They think, okay, two months from now, where am I going to be? If you plan your day, and a a simple strategy that I use is I call it an STD list, a shit to-do list. I write a shit to-do list and a to-do list next to each other. The shit to-do is the shit that I have to get done today in order for it to be a thumbs up day. And the stuff to do is stuff that, hey, if I get done, it's a bonus, but I can always move it on to the next day. And this, I do this at work as well. And I write down all the tasks that are urgent. And then I number those tasks one to whatever. One being the most uh, urgent one to get to right now, the swallowing the frog, that one being the frog. And then numbering it like uh, up up to whatever number you have however many tasks and then completing them in that order and then you may look at it middle of the day reorganize your urgencies change the numbers but all in all generally how i number it in the morning is how i go through it then by the end of the day i do it again so i will uh, look at what i have got done hopefully everything on the std side is done sometimes it isn't but i know look it will get done so I'll move on to the next day's STD and then shit, and then stuff to do as well. And just do that every day and I guarantee you'll be more productive throughout your day. So either run the day or the day runs you. Never let the day run away from you. When you feel like you've done nothing all day, it's probably because you've done nothing all day. Never let the day run away from you. Either run the day or the day runs you. Jim Rohn, that was episode 25 and I'm out. Peace.